Good morning and welcome to a special edition of This Week. We have picked ourselves up. We have fought our way back. Tears in triumph. I'm really proud of you. Grace in defeat. I pray that the president will be successful in guiding our nation. And a shocking resignation. This news is truly stunning. Did CIA Director David Petraeus' extramarital affair compromise classified intelligence? How will his departure scramble the president's national security team? And with Washington still divided after Tuesday's election, can the president and Congress find common ground on the fiscal cliff, immigration, and other big issues? We'll ask our headliners, the vice chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Republican Saxby Chambliss, and the senator responsible for adding to the Democrats' majority, campaign chair Patty Murray. Plus analysis and debate of all the election fallout on our powerhouse roundtable with representatives Donna Edwards and Aaron Schock, Paul Jagot of the Wall Street Journal, Katrina Vanden Heuvel of The Nation, and Greta Van Susteren of Fox News. From ABC News, this week with George Stephanopoulos. Reporting from ABC News headquarters, George Stephanopoulos. Hello again. What a week in politics. With his victory in Florida yesterday, President Obama now has a sweep of the battlegrounds. 332 electoral votes, losing only Indiana and North Carolina from his 2008 total. The popular votes are still coming in, and the president will come up about 8 million short of his 2008 tally, but he's holding about a 3 million vote margin over Mitt Romney. We'll discuss how Obama did it, what's next for the GOP, and the governing challenges ahead as we approach the fiscal cliff in the president's second term. But first, that Friday afternoon bombshell. David Petraeus resigns at the CIA after the FBI uncovers his extramarital affair. ABC's senior justice correspondent is here with the latest, Pierre Thomas. And Pierre, we've Rock learned RB. that the FBI first came upon this several months yes, ago. Yes, George, this sad sordid fall from grace came to light after a woman in the Tampa area who is tied to the military got a peculiar harassing email. The woman was so concerned she contacted the FBI, who then, according to our sources, traced the email back to Paula Broadwell, who had written a book about Petraeus. Our sources say as the FBI continued to investigate, they discovered emails pointing to a romantic sexual relationship between the two. There were early concerns about the potential for the general secure government emails being hacked, but the investigation never turned up evidence of national security being compromised. What they did find, George, as one source put it, was lots of human drama. So, Pierre, what more do they have to investigate now, and why wasn't the White House told until this week? The FBI investigation is largely done, and the early evidence is that there will not be criminal charges. Again, sources say this devolved into a personal matter. The FBI informed senior intelligence officials last week, who later told the White House, Petraeus had been confronted in the last couple of weeks. As for the timing of the disclosure, one official said, that's just how it play, played out, George. Okay, Pierre Thomas, thanks very much.